Now that you've got Flash operating properly so you can see the Lunar Phase Simulator, and if you're still having troubles with that, go back and watch the video that shows you how to open the simulations and contact me if you have questions. This is what I've called the Earth Sun Moon Simulator or the Sun Earth Moon Simulator. The actual website called it a Lunar Phase Simulator, but it's able to show several different aspects. You're going to be using this on both parts, one and two of lab number seven. And there's a lot of different things here. So I wanted to take a minute to go over that. This is what I call the main view. And this is the view from space sort of up above the North Pole of the Earth. This is your little person on the Earth. And this is your moon. And the sunlight is coming in here from the side. So the sun's way over here off the side. It's not really fully to scale here showing you the distance between the um, earth and the moon and the person is definitely not to scale but it's in order to show you things. Down here in this corner we have the horizon diagram. It's going to show it to you more from the person's perspective. We don't notice the earth rotating but we notice the sun and the moon moving across the sky. And up here in this area is the moon phase view that you'll be using mostly in part two. So there's a few controls that you want to have. So first of all, to start the animation going, you can rotate through here and it's going to show you things and you're going to have things moving in all of these different views at the same time. You can speed the animation up or slow the animation way down. You can also increment it one day at a time or one hour at a time or one minute at a time. You can also go backwards in time using these minus buttons. Now there's some things over here we're really not going to be using. You can also come up here and you can actually go straight to a particular phase. Or all the way at the top, you can reset it back to the way it was at the very beginning of it. If you have any difficulties understanding how to use any of these controls or where to look for specific information, please contact me. As you work through the lab, you'll be doing several different things. But if something's not making sense, feel free to contact me to get some additional help.